The horse is on the track for the fourth race. The fourth race honors Malcolm Kirkpatrick celebrating his 70th birthday here at Freehold this afternoon. Number one, J.D.'s Gemini, owned by the Chesmer and Stable of Monticello, New York. Gary Messenger driving. Two, Fridor Eclipse, owned and driven by Joe Rail. Three, Joe Escort, Nero's Farm of Bedford, New York. Catello Manzi, four, Rival Force, owned by the top form stables of Brick. Joe Hunter Fun, Jr., number five, Lee Van Zandt, Anthony Patras, Lauren Zulani, Steve Chizik, Marvin Maker, the driver. Six is Raza's Folly, owned by Pennsylvania Partners, two of Landisville, PA, Jack Moiseev. Number seven, Willie Will, owned by the Willie Will Stables of Marlboro, Hervé Fillon. Seven horses, a mile, four pacers, seven minutes until post time. Fourth race field, behind the gate and moving up. Here they come. And they're off. J.D.'s Gemini at the rail. Joe Escort between horses. Far outside, Lee Vance and those three across the track for the lead. Then it's free Dory Eclipse, rival fours. Raz's Folly sixth and Willie Will cuts away seventh and last. Moving off the turn, down the back stretch. Lee Vance and quickly takes over by two. J.D.'s Gemini second by three. And that's Joe Escort, third. Gap of four to five. Fridori Eclipse and two to rival force. Come back three. Rouse's Folly pacing sixth and Willie Will trails. They're by the quarter pole, 28 seconds flat. Moving into the top of the turn, J.D.'s Gemini now sets the pattern. Has it by two lengths. Lee Van Zandt moves in a closer second. Still three lengths to Joe Escort. Gap of four. Fridori Eclipse, rival force to the outside. Followed by Rouse's Folly and Willie Will. Coming off the turn, past the stands the first time. J.D. Gemini has it a length and a half. Lee Van Zandt still right there, a second by two. Joe Escort third along the inside with Rival Force moving up fourth. Fridor Eclipse at the rail to the outside. Rouse's Folly in sixth position. And Willie Will continues the trail at the rail. The half was 59-2. The pace slows to a 31-2 second fraction. Midway in the first turn the second time. J.D.'s Gemini with Gary Messenger still by three parts of a like Manzi driving on the outside with Joe Escort. And it's Marvin Maker along the inside at tight third with Lee Van Zandt. Three lengths to the outside. Rival Force in fourth position. Rouse's Folly starts to move on the outside. Fridor Eclipse and Willie Will as they move to the three-quarter pole. J.D.'s Gemini still has it by a length. Joe Escort driving on the outside. Lee Van Zandt locked inside third. Then it's two lengths to rival for his three-quarter pole. 129. That was 29-3 on the fraction. Now they've gone to work on the leader with two lengths. That's J.D.'s Gemini driving on the outside. Now for that challenge. Lee Van Zandt as they come through the stretch. J.D.'s Gemini under a strong urge. And Lee Van Zandt tries to close on the outside with Marvin. J.D.'s Gemini and Lee Van Zandt can't quite reach. It's J.D.'s Gemini holding on by three parts of a length. One Chesmer and Stables, J.D.'s Gemini. Five-year-old bay horse by Lime Time from J.D.'s Deli by Say Hello. Trained by Chester Williams Sr., driven by Gary Messenger. The winning exact at 1-5, 49-20. 1-5 Exacta, J.D.'s Gemini, Lee Van Zandt, 49-20. Fourth race honor.